All right, moving along with our Google My Business optimization. Uh, this video will cover optimizing posts, so creating posts, uh, looking at the Q&A section, and also monitoring reviews, uh, as well as uh, making it easy for the business owner to get new reviews. All right, so let's get right into this. Let's move over to uh, ClickUp and just look at our tasks. Okay, so here's our ClickUp task list for this uh, particular list. And let's just start from the top. We have create our first Google My Business post. So if I click on that, we'll have some more information as well. Um, I put a few tips in here in the description uh, as to how we wanna do this. We wanna keep words or keep the post under about 100 words, even though you're allowed quite a bit more. Um, uh, we can uh, add some target keywords here, but we wanna be careful not to get crazy with it. And we want any images we add to be of higher quality. So usually about 750 pixels wide by 750 pixels in height is what I like to do. Um, or if you have a, a video, you can use that. You can also link to a YouTube video, which is great because then you can also boost up the YouTube channel for the client. And it's also a good way to just highlight latest products or maybe events that are going on, depending on what the business has uh, going on. Um, as a worst, not even a worst case scenario, but um, if you don't have anything of substance to post, you could alternatively use a page of the website, maybe a blog post, anything like that. But I like to use, and I'm gonna show this on this video, I, I like to use a review from Google My Business and I like to convert it into an image. And there's this little Google website here that allows you to do that, it's pretty cool. Um, first, let me go over to Google My Business just so we can see the section we're even talking about. All right, so here is the Google My Business backend for this business. And you can see here we have a section called posts. So if I click on that, this is where I can create a new post. So we can add an event, we can add an offer if we have a product, right? Um, but for what I'm doing now, it's not going to be covered under an event or an offer or even a product. It's just going to be an update. and. You can see there's one here that was created. It's pretty generic. And then it has a call to action button back to the website. All right, so the way to do this is you just click on add update and we have a what's new option. That's what we'll stick with. And this is where you just click here and this is how we would add the image. Um, and then this is where you put the text. And you can see here, let's see if it gives me some basic rules. Uh, yeah, you can dig through here, but basically uh, I think there's like a 500 or 700 character limit, but again, we keep it rather short and then, then we'll um, add a call to action button, whatever it may be, uh, based on, you know, mix it up. You can do a call now one and it'll automatically use the phone number, which is nice. I'll probably use that for this post. Um, and then we'll put some content in here to, uh, to just finish it off. So let me go over to that website, marketing, let me find it real quick on my other tab. Okay, let me just drag it over. Okay, so we have here marketing kit with google.com and it's really easy. All you have to do is start typing in the Google My Business name as it appears. So we've got color, bright painting, uh, and then we could see it right here of Long Island. Just click on that. It will find it. All right, and once we're on this page, we'll just scroll down a little bit. And under this section here, let's click on choose other styles. And you can select any of these at the top. I usually go with the Google one because it looks more like the review that it is. So it actually has a quote somewhere from the review. And again, this one's not pulling the best part of the review. It's just kind of pulling the last two words. That doesn't usually happen, but uh, this client only has one review right now. So I'm just gonna show it, uh, but usually there's other ones that you could just choose from, uh, but you should eventually use them all. And you can select any of these other type of formats if you'd like. But again, to me, this one looks the most like a review. Um, so all I do at this point is I just right click on it and then I save the image. Can also uh, click to expand it. So actually that's what I wanna do so I can save the larger version of it. Now I'm just going to save this image So I'm just gonna save it in this folder here and just uh, name it review. Actually, let me, let me just name it properly. Color Bright Painting of Long Island. 
and let's just call it honest review. Okay, so we'll save that. And let's go back over to Google My Business. All right, and then let's go ahead and find that image. So we can just drag it on over. So I'm just gonna pull up that folder. Find it real quick. All right, so here's the image right here. Just going to drag it over like that. All right, so now we have that is going to be the image of the post. And then we just wanna put something here uh, to give this some context, right? So I'll probably say something like, uh, actually what I will do is I'm going to take the actual review and copy it. I think that's gonna be good for this one since it didn't show up much of it. So let's find the actual review. I'm gonna copy the whole thing. And then I'm just going to put it in quotes and paste it here, just like that. Uh, let me see, maybe give it a little more context in the beginning. Just one of our many happy customers. All right, and then we'll leave the quote there like that. And we highlight it there. And once we're satisfied with that, we publish it. Could preview it as well. And this does a few things. One, people actually see these posts in the listing. It, it does appear uh, when they search for your business and the Google listing pops up. Uh, also, it gives a call to action. But not just that, it actually, the frequency is part of the algorithm. Now, maybe it's not a huge part of it, but every little bit helps. And if your listing has activity on it and all things being equal, other pages do not, then you win out. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Let me see if this post already popped up or not. Uh, yeah, I don't see it popping up yet, but it usually doesn't take very long for, for that to, uh, to start showing up on the actual listing on Google My Business. So I was just looking at this. Let me pull it up over here. Let me just refresh this. All right, so... Sometimes it'll just show up here under updates, um, but nothing here just yet, and that's fine. We uh, main thing is that we got this post out and it's working. The other thing I recommend doing is uh, clicking share post if you are managing their Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you can even use this here to do it directly. If you manage their Facebook page, then you can post it over there. Um, just as a nice way to uh, kind of syndicate and make this post even more powerful. So I will probably take this link here and I will go over to their Facebook page and I will post uh, and share that uh, as well. So why don't I actually do that? Let me go ahead and pull up the business page for Color Bright Painting. Uh, just give me one second here, I'm gonna Pull that up on my other window. All right. So I'm gonna copy this link and let me drag this over so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to paste that URL. And you can see it pulled up the image already. Sometimes it may not find the image right away. So you may have to uh, just add it manually down here by clicking this plus button and then adding, finding the image. Uh, I can see it already pulled it up though. So I can now delete the URL actually, and I can give it some more uh, context if I want. Uh, so what I could do, let me see, I could actually just uh, put the same quote again. So I think that's what I'll do. Put that quote and I'll put it in quotes just like that. And let's post it. All right, let's just let that load up. Now you can, you now the image isn't the best way that it formatted here, um, but uh, it does go directly to the, the review of this Google My Business. So that's the main thing. We're getting 
traffic to this post. So that also helps the algorithm. Some people see this on Facebook and they click it. Um, it will it will just help that much more. All right, uh, so let's go back over to Google My Business. All right, so we've shared that. Um, again, you can do the same thing for Twitter if you happen to manage that for them as well, or any other profile. So this is your share link. You could just paste that in various platforms, maybe even LinkedIn if you wanted to, and that sort of thing. All right, so I'll just click no thanks because we already did it. Let's go back into ClickUp. All right, so we did the uh, we selected the appropriate call to action. Check that off. We shared the post to Facebook. Okay, check that off. And overall, our post is uh, is good. Our first post is done, and that's what we wanted to do. So let's go back. Uh, the next thing we want to do, actually, I could check this off because that's done. Is uh, take advantage of the Q and A feature. So I don't know if you noticed, but um, there's an option where people can ask questions directly on your Google My Business listing. All right, so let's look here. Ask a question. This is how a customer or someone just Googling and searching will find this and they can click and ask a question if they're logged in with their Google account. So what I recommend doing is having, um, you could have yourself do it because when you answer, you'll be the business. So you could actually post a question. You could have uh, some friends, colleagues, you could ask the business owner to post some questions and give them the questions to ask. The best thing to do is ask a question. Now again, we want to optimize but not um, stuff with keywords. We want to have questions related to the business. We're basically to throw ourselves softballs that we can answer in a great way. Um, so one question you might ask is, you know, what time, what type of painting uh, what type of paint do you use? Like, what's the brand? Um, do you include pressure washing in your painting quotes, right? There could be all kinds of related types of questions. Um, so I'm going to ask a, a question now, pretty, pretty generic, but also specific to the business. And, you know, I'll tell you what, one of the easiest ways to do this is really just check the website if they have an FAQ. And uh, let me just pull up their website here. And they do have an FAQ, so I'm just going to really take something from here and uh, use that. I'm just going to be really lazy about it, and that's fine. All right, so what do I want to ask here? You can even ask questions about specific cities that you're trying to optimize for. So if there are certain cities that you really want to focus on, you can ask questions like, do you offer free quotes in you know, my city name, right? So that kind of stuff where you're just getting, getting these terms in there in a way that reads well semantically but still helps your cause for ranking. All right, so let's go with, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just ask this one. Um, I'm gonna ask this question here. I might change it just a little bit, All right? So let's post this. Um, I'm actually just going to paraphrase now. Uh, do you use high quality paint? For all your projects, isn't all paint basically the same? All right? Simple. Let's post it. All right. So I posted it. I'm going to finish. Okay. So now you want to load up the same uh, page, but logged in as the business instead of yourself. So actually, what I'm going to do, let me go over to the tab that I have Google My Business pulled up in, not that one, right here. And so I loaded up the exact same page that shows me uh, all these things. And if I look for, oh, we can see that post is now appearing. That's good, all right? Um, so I'm looking for the question and answer section and I'm not seeing it, but sometimes I know that if you go to the very bottom you have to click this little arrow for more about Color Bright Painting of Long Island. And uh, if I scroll up, yep, now I see it, see all questions, right? So now I can click on that. And this was the question I asked myself. So let's answer it, all right? So we're answering it as the owner now, okay? 
All right, so in order to answer this properly, I'm just going to go back to that FAQ and see what the answer was. Uh, let's see, I don't want to just copy and paste everything exact. Let's just, let me just read through this real quick. High quality paints, this is pretty good. I might just take this right here. All right, uh, let's go back over. All right, and let's paste that in. High quality paints utilize better ingredients and less fillers. All right, uh, ch -ch -ch. yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, you don't have to get, you don't have to really worry about the copy, uh, the copy of what you're pasting already existing somewhere else. Um, it's okay to plagiarize yourself, but still keep it relatively uh, shorter than the original answer if you can. I mean, I just made this a little bit shorter, but it's a pretty good answer. And I want to leave it. Let me see. If you want the best value for money, don't let your kind of talk to me. Just skimping on pink line. Um, I'm going to leave this just the way it is and post it. I think that's good. All right. So this, we're, we're doing a lot right now. We're, we're showing customers are coming to the website or potential, potential customers are coming to the Google My Business. They're asking questions and the business owner page, Google My Business page owner is actively answering these, these questions directly on, on the listing. So this is really good for the algorithm and it's really good just for the activity when people come to the listing itself. All right. So if I refresh this, I just want to see where we're at with everything. All right. So we've got, we have the one Google review. Our post is actually showing up now here. That's great. If I click to expand this, we see we have uh, the question. All right. So the answer, let's see, I guess it didn't pop up yet. Let's see. All right. Cause it's my own. Um, we can go back and like it. I can like his post. You should always like the person who asked the question as the business owner, because that's going to help you. Don't, you can like your own, but that's a little weird. I wouldn't do that, but then you can go back as yourself. And now you can like my answer to show that it was a good answer, right? So let me close this out and I'm going to go back to the browser where I actually posted this review. Let me refresh this. Okay. And we can see, you can see the answer here. I'm going to like it. It's a good answer. Did a great job. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a lot of good activity now on this Google, my business listing. So, uh, let's go back over to click up and let's click on this. I want to add some details to it. So let me just show here. Uh, yeah, so I put this note in here. I'm going to put because I recommend and I will probably going to start a thread in the in the fusion protocol Facebook group where we can help each other ask these questions. So you would literally just get with someone one on one and say, you know, here's the question I'd like you to ask. Here's the link to ask it right. And then you would go ahead and answer it as the business owner. And then we can do an exchange like that. It's just a great way to really promote activity with, you know, what should be real Google accounts. They're aged from, you know, people using them. They're not fake accounts or anything like that. Um, I do want to add a note to this checklist though, about, um, so let's create that checklist. You'll already have this, uh, by the time you start setting this part up and click up, these will be there for you already. Uh, or you'll just have to create it along with me. I'm trying to work on a share link for this now. All right, so I'm just going to put a reminder here to uh, post initial question as a persona and follow up with as and follow up with an answer as the business owner. Okay, uh, like the post of the persona, or let me just clarify, like the question by the persona and like the answer 
of the business owner as the persona. Okay, just a reminder there. And it should cover it, I believe. So we've done all this. Let me just actually check these as we did it. All right. All right, so what did we do? We created a question that was relevant. Actually, I'm gonna put a note in here too. Um, Note, when in doubt, or what to use as content. Look to see if the website already has a FAQ you can use some content from. Don't really like to end in a preposition, but whatever. I don't think that's too important for this. All right, and let me pop back over to the Google My Business listing. All right, so we've got the, the question, we've got the answer, and we've liked it. So we are, we are good to go on that. All right, um, back over to ClickUp, and we have finished out the Q&A feature. So let me close that one out. All right, the next thing we want to do is have the business owner uh, reach out to any friends and family they have to leave reviews. Now, if they are already have 50 plus reviews, they don't really need to do that. They've probably already done that. This is more for businesses which are struggling. They have zero to 10 reviews. If they're zero to 10 reviews, you really want them to, you really want to encourage them to get family members to uh, leave them reviews. So how do you do that? Simple way to do that is come over to Google My Business, and we've got this link right here that they give you. All right, it's already copied, okay, so just clicking there is copying it. And then we can go over to what would be another, so this is my own personal login browser, separate from the business. And if I load that up, what's nice is that it loads up directly with the ability to add these stars, so I can Immediately, you know, if I'm a friend or a family member, you want to make it as simple as possible on them. So you literally give them this URL right here, you paste it in, and it pops up with them already basically leaving the review. So they don't have anything to find or hunt down. So they can leave their star and they can leave a review. You can do this yourself as the, uh, you know, I could, you know, easily leave a review right now as myself. Um, and I don't really. I mean, there's, it's a gray area, I guess. Obviously you haven't really worked, you haven't received any business uh, or services from this business, but maybe you can speak uh, as to the integrity or the, the friendliness, something like that. So be a little more creative with it, I suppose. Um, but that's it. And then when the reviews come in, you really want to uh, monitor it. And that's more of a weekly task as well. Um, so let me, yeah, so back over here, on the Google My Business listing, you'll see we have reviews. So we'll click on reviews and you can organize these by haven't replied yet. So as you get more, that's gonna be more, this is more of an important feature as you have a lot more reviews. Right now there's just one review for this person and I'm gonna filter it by haven't replied so I know how to reply here. Um, I've also taken the liberty of adding some replies uh, some templates that you can use. Um, so let me go and show you those. They're inside of this ClickUp task. So if I click on this, uh, actually, wait, I didn't put them in this one. Uh, one second, I'm just going to paste them over into this task list. Okay, so I just found them. So I'm just going to post, uh, let me see, under leave reviews. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a new task for any reviews that have not been replied to. Be sure to reply to them with a good response. Okay, so I'll click that. All right. Uh, all right. So let's say we already gave that link to our friends and family members. I'm just going to click closed. All right, and then any reviews that have not been replied to, be sure to reply to them. All right, so in here, I'm just going to paste all of these templated responses. Um, 
I even have one down here for if someone leaves you a one star, what you might be able to say. All right, so let's get a bunch of these jump characters out of the way. I'll, I'll clean this up a bit more. But essentially, I just have some templated answers that you can reply, right? And all right, so I'll just take this one from the top. Let me see. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. We appreciate you taking time to leave us such a wonderful review filled with kind words. You're always welcome here. I uh, wish you all the best. All right, so I'm just going to copy this. Make sure you replace name here properly. All right, let's go back over to the Google My Business listing. All right, and then here's where I'm going to post the reply. And then I'm just going to replace the name to make it very specific to this person. Thank you very much. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to leave us such a wonderful review filled with kind words. You are always welcome here and we wish you all the best. All right, you can change it a little bit. I mean, obviously there's only so many templates that I posted here. So you're gonna, you know, as you get more and more reviews, you're going to want to make it a little more specific. It'd be even better if you can have the business owner reply to these because they may have more of a personal understanding of the, the specifics and the nature of the project where they can actually talk to that would be better. Um, but you know, worst case scenario, you want to keep this engaged. You want to reply again, this is all part of the algorithm as well. So I'm going to post that reply right now and it just shows that we are monitoring this. And this becomes even more important when you start getting, uh, if you ever get a bad review and you can kind of at least show that, uh, as a business, you're, you're taking a vested interest in that. Okay. All right. Back over to ClickUp and back out of that. And so we've replied to those. Good. Let's go ahead and close that. And that covers us. So we went over in this video doing the Google My Business posts, uh, showing you how to create it. If you have, you know, an event or something like that to offer, that's a great type of post. If you don't, worst case scenario, you can use, you know, a blog post on the website or ideally take a review and use that tool I showed you to create an image post of it. Don't forget to put a call to action there, usually a phone number or maybe the website to the uh, contact page. All right. We went over doing the Q&A where as a person you do a question, uh, you know, you kind of throw yourself a softball you can use the Facebook uh, fusion protocol group to help each other out and and do that and then as the business owner you go back to that listing and now you answer uh, you like the post or the question of the uh, the person who asked it and then you you post your intelligent uh, response all right and then for reviews we want to make sure first that it's easy for friends and family members to review us by giving the business owner that link so they can send that out to them and then you know you can also potentially leave them a review as yourself um, you know, I'm not going to tell you guys what's right and wrong there. If you want to, you know, skirt that line, that's, that's, that's on to, that's up to you. I won't say that we've never done it. Um, just, you know, be smart about it. And, uh, and then you want to reply to these reviews, all of the reviews, which is, have not gotten a reply, you know, sort it by that inside of the Google, my business listing. And then you can leave intelligent replies, thanking them for their business. And again, showing all of that activity. Uh, serves a few purposes. One, it helps the algorithm. Um, every little bit helps. And then two, it, it updates on, on Google when they search, uh, when someone searches for your business and they see it pop up, they see it's active. They see these posts, they see these Q and A's, they see that the reviews are, are there and they see that they're being replied to. So all this is helping on a, a lot of different levels. And, uh, this is it. And that covers us for optimizing this part of Google, my business. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.